Hey, Abiding Presence. This weekend marks 40 years of ministry and service together. For 40 years, this community of faith has grown into a dynamic congregation of people willing to go beyond the walls to be the hands and feet of Christ in the world. You, Abiding Presence, are a gift, and I'm so blessed to serve alongside you and so excited to begin a new chapter. Eight years ago, I was called to serve as your pastor, and I learned that Abiding Presence had created a new understanding of itself during the call process. You self-identified. You said, we are a place of grace. All are welcome. All are welcome to worship, to learn, to serve, and it's God's grace. It's God's welcome. And we hear these words every weekend during the announcements and also when we're celebrating communion. All are welcome at this Lord's table. And I love how we still embrace this identity. This is who we are as members of the body of Christ. Now what we do, that's our mission. Our mission at Abiding Presence is to seek God and serve others. And we seek God in prayer and devotion and worship and praise and relationships with each other. And even though we're doing it differently now, we gather weekly to share the wonderful good news of God in Christ Jesus through word and sacrament. And in this building, we gather around the font and we gather around the pulpit and the table and we find the presence of God made known in water, wine, bread, and word. As a new community of faith, this is now happening around televisions and tablets and computers and phones where God has made known to us through word, song, prayer, and praise. As we look to the future, we seek God to deliver us, to bring us together safely, and to, and to mold us into the church that God needs in a changing world. See, everything that we learn in the Bible Everything that we experience in worship and praise, all of it calls us out of ourselves in service for others, to others, with others, in the church, outside the church, in our homes, at work, and yes, even in quarantine. See, serve others has everything to do with emptying myself out for the sake of the other, regardless of who that person may be. Service comes from spending time devoted to something greater than myself, which in all honesty is everyone else. We are called, biblically called, to show radical hospitality to those with any need. And as we move into a new chapter, I imagine new ministries of service are going to be born. Imagine a church that serves others not only on campus, not only out in the community, but, it, but is able to serve others right where they are, in homes and facilities and hospital rooms. See, this pandemic has forced us to suspend in-person worship and service, but, but new ministries like phone caregivers or quilters making face masks or providing weekly food for Haven for Hope have broadened our understanding of service. I can't wait to see what we will continue to do as we seek God and serve others in the changing years to come. Now, we did have some plans to have a huge party and celebrate 40 years, and we were going to have this golf tournament, and we were going to spend a full day of serving others and have this wonderful festival worship experience. But this has all been postponed to a later date. But there are still ways for us to recognize and celebrate this milestone online. After all, we are now a community of faith in new ways. Throughout this week, Different videos are going to be offered up. They're going to be from our past leaders as well as a message from our bishop. And I hope that you watch and enjoy each one of those. I hope that you listen to the stories of the past and their hopes and dreams of the future. And I hope that you do one more thing. See, we want to hear from you. What are you looking forward to in the years to come? What are your hopes and dreams for the next chapter of Abiding Presence? What are you excited about as we enter the next 40 years of ministry together? How are you seeking God and serving others in new ways? Or better yet, what does this place of grace mean to you? Send us your videos. Please keep it short, like 10 to 15 seconds. What we'd like to do is compile all of these videos together and share them as a narrative next week with the entire congregation. 
I want you to look for my email in the comments below. Just send me an email with a short video on it and let us make something for everybody to see what abiding presence means to you. For after all, you are the abiding presence of Christ in the world. And together, we are seeking God and serving others in new ways. Happy 40th.